Don't look down. Don't listen to them. Don't move. Don't talk. You, handsome, don't you want to join the feast? Wednesday tells a tale of Ma and Mahan. As you know, we're reading Half Pekar or Seven Figures by Iranian poet Nezami from the 12th century. Each chapter is related to a day of the week, a color, and a constellation. To know more about it, watch the Black Dome video. So after Saturn's day, Sun's day, Moon's day, and Mars day, what does Wednesday say? Wednesday is the day of Woden, a Norse god that's the god of travel, like its Roman counterpart, Mercury. This is why in many languages, like in Italian, Wednesday is called Mercoledì. Okay, so on Wednesday, Bahram wore a blue robe and went to the Blue Dome. Blue in Persian is Abi, that comes from the word Ab, that means water. Bahram asked the fifth lady, Azariun, to tell him a tale before sleep. But poor Bahram didn't know it wasn't gonna be a love story. It's more in the horror genre. Azariun started like this. Bud mardi bemesr mahana, manzari khubtar ze mah tama. Mahan comes from the word mah that means moon in Persian. And that night in that garden in Egypt, the moon was shining, music was playing, and Mahan and his friends were having a great time. مغز ماهان چو گرم شد ز شراب تابش ماه دید و گردش آب ماهان was so drunk that he just started walking in the dark he walked out of the garden until he reached an oasis he heard someone saying hey my old friend i miss you so much excuse me ماهان said oh buddy don't be ridiculous you know what i've done a great business and made a lot of money if we can bring the cargo into the city in the middle of the night we don't pay tax and make more profits it's hidden out of the city now. We'll bring it together and share the profits. What do you say? Mahan said, Money, you said. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. They walked on and on. Mahan thought, We've traveled four times the distance from the city to the Nile, and we're not still out of the city. But I'm so drunk, he knows better. Hamchonan mi shodan dar takotob, pasro al histe pishro bishetob. When the morning birds started to sing, Mahan opened his eyes seeing himself alone in a desert. Around him there were caves and snakes and he had no idea where he was. The night came. From the middle of nightmares, Mahan awoke to a sound. A man and a woman who were carrying loads were whispering, Who is he? What's he doing here in the desert of demons? Mahan told them his story and they said, We know that man, Hayel. He's not a human, he's a demon. Don't worry, come with us, we'll help you. They walked and walked and no one said a word for hours. But with the sound of morning birds, Mahan found himself in a desert, alone, again. All the day he thought, this is it, this is the end, I'm gonna die from hunger. But at night, he heard a horse come. Tell me who you are or I'll kill you. Mahan said everything and the man said, oh God, I wonder why you're still alive. Those two, Hila and Rila, are ghouls. They have nothing to do but to kill and devastate. Get on, I'll take you, and don't forget God. Oh, Mahan. First, they passed gardens and forests. But then, Mahan suddenly saw himself among horrible beasts with long trunks and horrifying horns. Had yeki al tashi girefte bedast, munkar chun zabani mast. The roars had risen to the sky. Mahan looked around and didn't see that man. Instead, he saw himself riding on a giant dragon with seven heads, wings, and mouths full of fire. Mahan had closed his eyes and held tight to that terrifying creature just to survive. After dawn, the dragon threw Mahan and disappeared. Mahan went to sleep and when he woke up, a desert again. Looking for a shelter, he saw a well. So out of fear of snakes and devils, he went to the well and slept. And when he woke up, he saw a fountain of light. He started digging the earth and finally found the source of the light. The garden was unbelievably beautiful. He couldn't think of anything else but eating. But yeah, as you can imagine, this didn't long. A man was running toward him with a cane. Catch the thief, he's eating my fruits. Mahan, scared as hell, 
told the man that he's just a miserable nice man who's had a very tough time. But I suppose he didn't say that it was all his fault. It worked. The old man put aside his cane and said, Oh my goodness, be thankful you survived that desert and his evil creatures. You know, I'm very rich, I have everything, but I'm very lonely. But when I look at your eyes, I feel like I'm seeing the missing piece of my life. Mohan said, What? In hame hastoni sparzandam, ke dele khichtan daru bandam. Aha, yeah, that's great, I'll be your son. Okay, dear Mahan, I should go make a place for you. But you will climb that tree and stay up there. You can find everything there. Bog bog to khane khane ye toast, ashiyane man ashiyane ye toast. But listen to me, don't come down and don't tell anyone what you're there. I'm warning you. Okay, that's easy. He climbed up the tree, drank, ate, and laid back. This is the most amazing garden. Just the old man had a daughter that would be a perfect end to my journey. What are those lights? Look at those girls carrying candles. 17 pretty girls who weren't girls, I mean, they more looked like fairies, were about to have a party. They sat under the tree and started singing and dancing. In the middle of the dance, the queen of fairies said, I can smell a human. I want him to join us. Now, just imagine Mahan sitting on the top of a tree, hearing those magical songs and repeating, don't look down, don't listen to them, don't move, don't talk. You, handsome, don't you want to join the feast? Yeah, sure. Chun javan jush dar naha darad, pande piran koja be ya darad. Ishq chun bar gireft sharm az rah, raft mahan be mi mahni ma. I suppose you can see the rest. They danced and drank and ate from those heaven foods. And at midnight, they were all drunk and drowsy. Mahan held the queen in his arms, pressed his lips to hers, looked at her eyes, and saw a giant, funky, disgusting beast. Did Efriti as the hunt of Hoy, Ofarides the Hash Hoy Hodoy. She was kissing him and saying, Lab Hamon Lab Shodas, Busebeha, Roh Hamon Roh Nazar Maban Zemo. Mahan, caught in the grip of her, looked around desperately. No one was going to help him. He screamed from the bottom of his heart, like a newborn baby or a woman who's giving birth to a baby. He heard the morning bird and the evils disappeared. Mahan looked around. The garden had turned to a desert. Mahan thought, this was a lot for three days. What did I do to myself? I don't know where am I, I don't know what to do. I shouldn't have been this greedy in the first place. And after that, He bathed in the pure water, prostrated, cried, and prayed. Sajda kard o zamin be khari roft, ba kas bi kasan be zari goft, ke goshayand kar man bokshay, be namayand rah man ben ma. He raised his head and saw a man in green clothes. He looked exactly like himself. I am Khizr. I'm your sincerity. I was with you all the way, just waiting for you to call me. دست خود را به من ده از سر پای دیده بر هم ببند و باز گشا. ماهان blinked. He was in his friend's garden again. He saw his friends and family all wearing dark blue, crying and mourning Mahan's death. Guys, is this my funeral? I thought it would be much more magnificent. What the hell is this shaming you? But after that, to be like his friends, he wore blue as well. He wanted to be close to God again. Like Mercury, that's the closest planet to the sun. I'm Sarah, daughter of Iran. Wait for me in the tale of Thursday.